G'day guys, this is Coley from Kikes to Fish Bathurst. Uh, well, we've just been out on our maiden voyage on this uh, yak and all I can say is tick, tick, tick and tick. Uh, it's it's stay stability plus. Uh, I personally stood up on a kike for the first time, it's not something I usually do, uh, but found it quite easy to do. Uh, look, just we'll just run from the forward to the back. The, the handle here is outstanding, it's perfect, it's what you need. The additional traction pack, as you can see, has been installed. The hatch here has absolutely cavernous storage space. Uh, the Max Drive, it just doesn't let you down. Uh, a bit squeaky, uh, but that's actually up in this part here. Uh, the squeak's actually in that, it's not actually in the drive itself. Plenty of room, plenty of depth. Uh, it's just a great fishing platform. Easily to loosen off the nut, slide the drawer out, stacks of room in here. What do I keep in here? One big tackle box, my pliers and my next gen uh, hook removers. So yeah, so it, it does the job. I'm roughly six foot tall. Uh, my setting is at the back and it's the perfect leg length. Uh, I haven't drilled any holes in the kayak to run my cables through. So I've just got these attachments here to run the uh, transducer cable through from my Garmin finder. Uh, the Max Drive just drops straight in, clips into place. The little play they used to have in it has now been removed from it. Extremely effective system. Coming to the back here, again, another tackle storage area, plenty of room. The rudder is an absolute treat. Hard left, hard right, and adjustable tension. All right, don't adjust the tension until you actually have it out on the water. But an absolute pleasure. I, I had a next gen 11, turns like a truck, this thing turns like a sports car. Uh, at the back here, plenty of storage. As you can see here, these are our next gen uh, two piece carbon fishing rods and bait caster and spin. Over on this side is the, the next gen zombie reel. Great little reel for fresh water, does work well in salt water as well. Uh, it's it's a, just a great all round package. So when you come down to the wheels, I use just a set of uh, the kayak trolley at the moment. It does the job, uh, gets things done. The, the back of the kayak is just cavernous. Uh, I actually have a 22 litre hard box that sits in here, uh, but it's currently in the back of my trailer. Uh, the back rear grab handles are absolutely perfect for when it comes to moving around. Plus there is large grip handle points under here. The rudder is just perfect. As you can see with the rudder, it, it does actually retract up into the kayak hull. I'll just come around and release it if I can. As you can see, the rudder actually protrudes a fair amount of depth into the water. The turning circle on the rudder is quite broad and it does give it that rudder authority which you saw in a previous video. All in all, if you're looking for the fishing platform, this is definitely the one. Uh, this has ticked all the boxes. The, the 11 is a good platform. This is a better platform. It's a simple way to put it. Anyway, guys, I'll get some more videos and we'll break it down into, into smaller sections. Uh, we'll talk more about the accessories that can go with it. As you can see here, this is our next-gen uh, landing net. Perfect little landing net and only retailing for, uh, for about 30 bucks. So get on it so anyway guys i'm super happy with this can't wait to get out and do it some uh do it again and i'm can't wait to hit the salt water with this bad boy too anyway guys have a great day speak to you soon cheers you